This is calculator question number 23 from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a diagram of a triangle where the base of the tri triangle is parallel to another line inside the triangle. And they tell us this is a right triangle, right angle indicated at C, and ask for the perimeter of the larger triangle. Since lines CD and BE are parallel, these are similar triangles with a right angle here. And with a 5 and a 3 in a right triangle, we're tempted to say that's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, but it's not. Because the 3 and the 5 are two, the two short sides, and the hypotenuse, let's call that x. x squared equals 3 squared plus 5 squared, so x squared equals 9 plus 25. x squared equals 34, so x equals square root of 34. The perimeter. of the smaller triangle, A, B, E, is the sum of the three sides. 3 plus 5 plus root 34 is 8 plus root 34. Since side C, D is three times as long as side B, E, and these are similar triangles, the perimeter of the larger triangle perimeter of ACD is 3 times 8 plus root 34, which is time for my calculator. Eight plus root 34 is 13.83 times 3 is 41.5 to the nearest tenth. So that would be choice C. If you take the bait and assume this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, the perimeter is 12, and 3 times that would be 36, which is choice B. As they often do, College Board is giving you every opportunity to make a careless error by failing to read the question carefully. One of the most important skills for the SAT is reading their question carefully under the assumption that the question is not asking what you expect them to ask because College Board will often twist the question a little to make sure that you're reading their question carefully and that your answer goes with their question. Always once you've chosen your answer, reread the question and make sure you answered their actual question where they were asking for the perimeter of the larger triangle to the nearest tenth and that is what I did. And come back soon for my next math video. With math there's always more.